Hi, this video is a short tutorial on installing and using MOVA Xterm for working on the Mininet Labs. The Mininet installation video shows you how to log on to the Mininet VM via the command line using SSH. But there are applications that provide a more convenient way for you to access the VM from your host computer. MOVA Xterm and PuTTY are two of these applications. There are versions of PuTTY that run on both Windows machines and Macs. MOVA Xterm is Windows only, fortunately, but I find that it is the most convenient tool to work on the Mininet Labs. There are at least four advantages in using MOVA Xterm in lieu of the command line interface. These are multiple terminal session instances, a copy and paste capability, the X11 services are enabled. With X11, you can run GUI programs on the Mininet VM that are displayed on your host computer's display. A secure file transfer capability between the Mininet VM and your host computer is the fourth advantage. To download MOBA Xterm, go to the MOBA Xterm homepage, which is mobaxterm.mobatech.net. Scroll down till you see the box, Get MOBA Term Now. Click that on. Select the Home Edition and scroll down till you see Download Now. The Home Edition is free. The next page comes up. Click the Installer Edition. You will have to extract the installation files from the downloaded zip file and run the installer program. I've already done this. The first step in using MOBA Xterm is to configure it as an SSH client. Click on the MOBA Xterm icon to open. On the menu at the top, click Sessions, then select New Session. Choose SSH for the session type. Fill in the basic SSH settings. For remote host, we use local host. Check the specify username box and type in the username, Mininet. For the port, we'll use the port we chose for the host port for the SSH. Two, 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 three. The X11 forwarding and file transfer capability should be enabled by default. To verify this, click on the advanced SSH settings. Confirm that the X11 forwarding box is checked and that the SSH browser type is SFTP protocol. If you choose other terminal programs that don't have this capability, you will have to install an X11 program, such as XMEAN for Windows or XQuartz for Macs. Click OK. Once you have completed this, there are two more items to check. To run multiple instances of MOBA X terminal Windows, you have to ensure that this capability is configured in the settings. Click on Settings. Configuration, and go to the Miscellaneous tab. Check to see that Allow Multiple Instances of MOBA Xterm is checked. Click OK. There's also a configuration item to allow easy copy and paste. Click on Settings again, Configuration. This time, go to Terminal tab. At the center of the screen, check that paste using right click is checked. Click OK. And now for the final check, open VirtualBox and start the Mininet VM.
will minimize both the VM console window as well as the virtual box. Click on your session icon. Log on with the Mininet password. You'll be asked if you want to save your password. If you choose yes, you will have to choose a master password beforehand. You should now be at the user prompt. In the left panel, a file explorer GUI window appears on the left hand side. With this, you can look at the Mininet VM directories and files. Now let's look at how to use some of the additional features of MOBA Xterm. How do you start a second or third instance of MOBA Xterm, for example? In the Windows taskbar, right-click on the MOBA Xterm tab. Okay, in the little window that pops up, click on MOBA Xterm, and you actually have another window. We can move this other window out of the way to show that we have two windows open. And we'll close the second window. As mentioned earlier, Mobile X Term has a built in secure file transfer function that appears when you connect with the remote host, in our case, the MiniNet VM. We'll look at this capability next. To move files, just drag and drop files from your host computer to the left side panel. file will appear. We can also do this in reverse. As an aside, although this works pretty well, you might want to look at other file transfer software such as WinSCP and FileZilla. Well, WinSCP works for Windows and FileZilla for both Macs and Windows. You'll want to use the copy and paste function while you're working on the Mininet VM. Here I'm going to edit a file. The file we just transferred on from the desktop. To copy, just select what you want to copy with your mouse, highlight it. and it'll tell you how to paste. Another specific use for the copy and paste function in this class would be to copy commands from the lab instructions to the Mininet VM command line. I'm gonna go open up the lab zero instructions. The only difference in this process compared to copy and paste right directly in the Mininet VM is that after you highlight the text, you must type control C. Then you can move to the VM command line and right click the mouse and the command appears. Finally, as we verified earlier, our version of MOBA X term has an X11 program. The X by running an X11 program known as a server on your host computer, you can access graphical Linux programs remotely through a SSH client. The remote computer's graphical display is forwarded to your host computer. A good test to verify X11 forwarding is working is to run the Xterm program. This pops up a simple graphical terminal. 